Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be checking out the Foxier Predator version 3. And now just looking at it, you probably can't really tell any difference over the version 2 or the version 1 until you turn it to the back. So the V3 is on the left here, and pretty much all I have done is split up this port, as well as the main difference, that's pretty much the only physical difference, is that they've changed the settings and the firmware to hopefully give a much better and warmer image than the version 2 and version 1 as a lot of people complained that they're too cold looking so that's where this has changed mainly in these settings everything else physically is should be the same so it should be the same exact weight as the other ones but let's just put it on the scale just because and oh that's in ounces that's not what we want that's two grams 5.92 so yeah it's the exact same weight so let's jump into some footage real quick so this is just some footage from a local race recently. And right off the bat, you can tell, obviously, it is a very sunny and bright day. But hopefully you can tell that it's producing the colors pretty naturally. It still is, I'd say it's slightly, slightly coolish tint. But if you just look in general, especially if you're used to seeing what the version 1 and version 2 Predators did, it's a very, very nice looking image. I haven't adjusted the contrast or saturation at all, so this is exactly what the camera was outputting. You can see we have very nice colors, the orange props show up well, the green grass, blue sky, and sort of red highlights on the gates and flags. Everything shows up really nice, and in the goggles it's really nice and sharp. So I'm just going to let the rest of this heat in the race play out just so you can get a better feel for it. Alright, so here we are back after that flight footage, and if you're anything like me, you were really impressed by the camera. Honestly, I think it's the best looking camera I've ever seen, and I have flown the Runcam Micro Eagle. I've flown a lot of different cameras. And honestly, just the, I'm not exactly sure what they tweaked, but the colors, I've already really liked the Predator. Um, and I just kind of flew around the fact that it was sort of a blue tint because it didn't really matter for racing. If it gave me the best image to see the gates, that's all I cared about. But now it looks really nice as well. In terms of them changing the back connector, I like it and I dislike it at the same time. I dislike it because if I have V2s and quads and I want to switch to V3, I have to change my wiring up because the same plug does not fit anymore, so you have to rewire a little bit. But I do like it because this gives you the separate OSD cable because I don't really like using camera control anyways, so I'd rather just be able to plug the little adapter in, use it that way, and then be able to take it out if I don't need it to save a little bit of room. One thing I didn't like about the camera was that it actually, it does, um, you see on the box here, it does 4, 3, and 16 by 9. Obviously, it's just going to be cropping, and it does NTSC and PAL. But mine came, um, both of mine came in 16.9 PAL, so it looked really weird compared to what I was flying. Um, but I just went into the menus and switched it to 4.3 NTSC, and it looked great just like I was used to again. So that's pretty much just going to be it, a real quick video. Just small changes, but I really think this is a really nice camera. And whatever they tweaked in the settings and software really did help it out. So there will be links down below in the description if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.